Hey guys, Sandbricks and guys, before the video starts, we're actually going to be doing a giveaway, guys, uh, when we reach 3,000 subscribers. And the thing we're going to be giving away is actually going to be something really, really cool. And that's, of course, going to be the Godzilla Playmates um, Gorosaurus. And this figure, guys, is really rare to find right now of time of this recording. So far, I only found once and, of course, one target. And that's, of course, pretty insane. I've been trying to look for this figure for a while. Finally found one, and I'm actually going to give it away. I'm actually going to do that when we reach 3,000 subscribers and that's of course something a pretty really cool giveaway most likely some of you will like um, but we don't know other stuff we might do later on in the future but that's so far I have an idea right there we're gonna do a giveaway for the gore source so when we reach 3,000 of course we're gonna be giving it away so hope you guys enjoy the video bye Hey guys, Sam Bricks, and guys, we got some new news right here, guys. I know I've not been uploading. I'm sorry for that. I've been trying to do some videos, but I haven't really got any idea for videos and like that. Nothing really, really wanted to talk about. But here's, of course, an item right here I really want to talk about that's actually really, really cool. And here it is. Here is a four-film collection steelbook um, Godzilla collection right here for, of course, the MonsterVerse. And these right here look amazing. But this is the only picture we have right here. There's no other pictures, no price, no release date. Um, we actually don't even know these are actually going to be for the U.S. But usually these, of course, still, of course, um, books, like these cases, like these, are always a U.S. version. But I could be wrong, but most of the time, usually they are. And the pricing, we have no idea either. I have some ideas, but it's kind of scary. It really is. Um, but usually steel books like separate like these right here are always $34.99 I think sometimes they've been raising them for like $37.99 I think the last one for Godzilla vs Kong was $34.99 though And I actually do have that one from of course when that came out for like I think the first day for blu-ray and 4k like that The other thing is we actually don't know if these are gonna be 4k or blu-ray But to be honest most of these uh, most of these of course steelbook tins are always 4k and it does come with blu-ray uh, I'll be kind of shocked if it doesn't come with Blu-ray, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come with the 4K and Blu-ray. Um, but out the bat, here, of course, um, here it is. It looks amazing. Here's, of course, all the movies right here in the bottom. Here, starting with right here, 2014, Kong Skull Island, Godzilla King of Monsters, and Godzilla vs. Kong. And out of these right here, my favorite one in order has to be Godzilla 2014, Kong Skull Island, Godzilla vs. Kong, and the Godzilla King of Monsters. For me, the 2014 one pops. I love the red. I love the design of the Godzilla. The other one right here is actually going to be Kong. The Kong to me looks really cool. The green is something different. Um, I think this would have been actually number two, but there's a little nitpick I had with it, and it kind of threw me off, was, of course, the Godzilla vs. Kong one. Um, that'll be number three, but I think that could have been number two if maybe they fixed this part, if they changed the Godzilla to the bottom side and Kong to the top. And to me, that makes more sense, too, because, of course, in the movie, Kong was always jumping. He was always in the top. Godzilla was, of course, always looking up. Um, so that's a little thing, a little nitpick right there, but they, I would say they still look nice. Um, the other one right here is, of course, Godzilla King of Monsters. I would say this one does look cool. It's just the color they chose of the yellow, not the biggest fan. But I do like, of course, he is roaring up. There's a little, of course, helicopters. And I think those are flares in the background. I could be wrong, but that's so far what I noticed. And those are, of course, the steelbooks right there. Um, I was actually really hoping to maybe see some of uh, the art in the back. But so far, it doesn't look like we have any pictures of these. Um, but I would say it's pretty insane because I know usually these steelbooks of Godzilla vs. Kong go for quite a bit. I mean, Godzilla vs. Kong. I meant the steelbooks for these movies go for a lot. I think the Kong one goes for over like 80 bucks, 4K. The Godzilla King of Monsters. I even, I sold mine because I know that thing was going for over $100. I think I sold mine for like around 90 at the time. Um, and I think it was actually going up to like 150 new with wrapping and like that. And that was pretty crazy. I think right now, Godzilla vs. Kong is around like 55 45 and I think the regular 2014 one was going up to like the new 4k one was up to like 50 I'm pretty sure I haven't checked for that one in a little while maybe it might went up or down I don't really know but these are of course the steelbooks right here really cool looking here's of course the little tin case also you could just slide them in right there um pretty cool box art right here of of course the monsterverse for film collection little scratches you see godzilla and kong here are the sides of course shows godzilla and kong really cool looking and that's pretty much the box right there so pretty much i'm pretty sure these are going to be the 4k with blu-ray and the pricing i have no idea but here of course in 
Um, Best Buy here, of course, usually they're always here and usually they're going to be like pre-orders, of course, here. And I remember, of course, this Avenger 4 uh, movie collection right here were 4K. And I have a feeling they raised this one up because it was, of course, Marvel and Avengers. This was 130 and this is pretty interesting right here hobbit um with all three the three movies of the hobbit for 120 and these were also 4k but these are also the extended cut and the um the, of course the theater cut and like that so i'm have a reason that's most likely why that's more expensive for that one but here of course are more of the newer ones right here of the indian jones uh, for a hundred dollars all four films 4k um uh, is that even still book yes that is a steel book um, looks like pretty much the same thing as, of course, the Godzilla one right now. And here's, of course, another new one. Um, right here is Rambo. Um, actually comes with five movies, 4K with Blu-ray, and that's actually $95. And that comes with five movies. So that's pretty interesting right there. So we most likely have an idea of a price. Here's another one right here, actually. It's the steelbook for The Legends of Kara. But I think that might be Blu-ray. Yep, that's Blu-ray. So that's pretty much it right there for those. So if you have a price, it's most likely around 130 to 95 it could be lower but we don't really know um i'm hoping it's around like the hundred dollars or less if it's higher than 100 that's kind of like a little bit scary but you're still getting them i think so far from checking then you still get them from under the 35 dollar price if it's over 100 but that's of course right there of a price i'm guessing right there i'm hoping it's around the 100 that's just me guessing um but it also could be around like 130 or maybe actually 135 but I guess we'll wait and see. I'm really hoping the price is not too much. And it's if, of course, they're um, here going to be available in the U.S. But I guess we'll wait and see because this will be really funny me talking about this. And they're actually only going to be in Japan or they're only going to be in, like in the United Kingdom or something like that. But that's, of course, my thoughts right here, guys. I'm definitely most likely will purchase this if it's around the $100 range right there because these look really, really nice. So that's, of course, my thoughts right there, guys. So let me know down below, for, of course, your thoughts. And you guys can pick this up for sure or are you guys going to pass or you don't really. Um, are you just fine with your Blu-ray or your, of course, regular version? um because the funny part is i just recently purchased godzilla vs kong for 4k like oh no not godzilla uh, vs kong i meant godzilla king of monsters for 4k so that's kind of funny i bought that and now that i might get this also instead i also got that for a good deal it was like the 4k version for like 10 bucks at this um like cd place i was so happy to find that but now there's this but that's of course right there and everything and yeah just let me know for your thoughts and hope you guys enjoyed today's video guys see you guys next time bye